What happens when one of the richest countries on Earth decides it wants to lead the AI revolution? And what if the United States quietly opens the gates, allowing its most powerful chips to flow into the desert? Not to its traditional tech hubs, but to Saudi Arabia. This isn't science fiction. This is the story of Humane, Saudi Arabia's bold $1 trillion AI gamble, and the shifting alliances that could shape the future of global technology. Launched in May 2025, Humane is a new AI company founded by Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund. It's led directly by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and aims to build cutting-edge AI products with a sharp focus on the Arabic language. But this isn't just another tech startup. It's backed by billions of dollars and driven by a clear political vision. Humane plans to develop its own massive data centers, foundational models, and even proprietary infrastructure for AI development within the Arab world. It's part of something much bigger. Vision 2030, a national plan to transform the Saudi economy beyond oil. AI is right at the heart of this vision. The goal isn't just to catch up with the world's tech leaders, it's to lead. By developing local AI capacity, especially language models tuned for Arabic culture and context, Saudi Arabia believes it can take a leading role, not just in the region, but globally. And now the game has changed. The U.S. government has recently relaxed export controls on advanced AI chips for trusted partners like Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and other Gulf nations. This means that cutting-edge chips from NVIDIA, AMD, and others can now legally be sold and shipped to the kingdom. It's a strategic shift, influenced by economics, diplomacy, and global competition. Until now, U.S. policy tightly restricted exports of powerful chips to countries considered high-risk. But this change signals a new alignment. It says, yes, you can build. Yes, you can compete. Yes, the AI race is now open to the Gulf. And within days of that green light, U.S. tech giants stepped in. NVIDIA announced a major deal to supply GPUs for Saudi Arabia's planned 500-megawatt AI data center. That's enormous. One of the largest in the region, if not the world. Then, Amazon Web Services joined the race, pledging over $5 billion to help build a dedicated AI zone in partnership with Humane. The goal? To localize services, power Arabic language models, and bring scalable AI directly into the Saudi ecosystem. But why all this focus on Arabic AI? Most of today's leading AI models were trained primarily on English and Western datasets. Arabic, with its deep grammatical structure, regional dialects, and cultural nuances, remains underserved. As a result, current AI assistants and tools often struggle with accurate responses, tone, and context when dealing in Arabic. Humane aims to change that. By creating AI systems that are Arabic first, not just translations, it wants to develop technology that understands and reflects the region's people, language, and values. This is more than technical accuracy. It's about digital sovereignty, about nations having control over their digital future, especially in the global South, where many are looking to AI not just as a tool, but as a strategic asset. And the investments go beyond chips and servers. Saudi Arabia is building a full-stack tech ecosystem, from research labs and innovation hubs to startup incubators and university partnerships. There's a push to attract global AI talent and to train the next generation of local developers and researchers who can carry this vision forward. In places like Neom and Riyadh, entire tech zones are emerging, equipped with infrastructure, funding, and incentives designed to make Saudi Arabia a true innovation powerhouse. But there's a bigger picture here. This isn't just about building tech. It's about global influence. By forming stronger tech alliances with Saudi Arabia, the U.S. is also strategically countering China's expanding presence, especially in the AI domain. This new wave of collaboration in the Gulf is part of a broader geopolitical chessboard. The West doesn't want to lose AI leadership and engaging trusted allies in the Middle East could be a way to maintain that edge, while also ensuring that democratic norms influence the next generation of global technology. Of course, this path isn't without concerns. Critics warn that transferring advanced AI capabilities to authoritarian governments could lead to ethical dilemmas. From surveillance to censorship, the risks are real. There's also the issue of rapid development outpacing regulation. But supporters argue that if these projects are shaped through strong international partnerships and guided by ethical frameworks, the benefits will outweigh the risks. They see opportunity in building AI for more than just the West and making it truly global. So here's the big question. 
Could Saudi Arabia really become an AI superpower? On paper, the answer looks like a yes. They have massive capital, a clear national vision, and now access to the world's most powerful AI chips and technologies. More importantly, they have momentum, a willingness to invest big and think long-term. And with Humane at the center, they may be setting the stage for the Arab world to become a leader, not just a follower, in shaping the future of AI. The Middle East is no longer just buying tech, it's starting to build it. And Humane could be the crown jewel in this transformation. The world is watching. The balance of power in technology is shifting, and the future of AI might just be written in Arabic. What do you think about Saudi Arabia's AI ambitions? Will Humane become the next global tech giant? Or will it trigger a new kind of tech race in the Middle East? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video insightful, give it a like, subscribe for more AI stories, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a future upload. Thanks for watching.